Back in April, early in the pandemic, 30 organizations got together as Amplify Music. We brought together more than 90 speakers from more than 20 countries from around the world in a virtual conference, 25 hours around the clock. We asked questions about resilience in our local music communities. How is the pandemic impacting our local communities? What actions were already being taken? What new organizing forces were taking root? I think that one thing that we've seen over and over again is that music and art doesn't go away. People, people are compelled to create music and to enjoy art um, and to interact with it. So we will find a way. I think everyone's really leaning on that emotional connection because you can't have the in-person one. So it's like, how do you bridge that gap right now? And I think thankfully we have all of these avenues of technology that are let, allowing us to still be together and connect. I mean, just like we're doing today. It is the soul of the community that's at stake mm -hmm. and people are gonna have to, you know, if that's something they value, they're gonna have to figure out a way to support it and keep it alive in this, you know, low touch environment we're in, entering into. We shared stories from music industry leaders from around the globe. And then when the official lockdown came, all of a sudden businesses were realizing, you know, these costs are mounting up. What is it that we could ask local authorities to do that is within the law that would be quite simple for them to do, but they're not particularly thinking about. <laughs> and that I think is, as advocates for nightlife, that is what we do. And I think that's what we have to convince our Policymakers and decision makers of is the importance of that nighttime economy and culture. So we sat down with all of our artists and planned their releases for the next two years, considering 20, uh, 2021 washed out as COVID-19. So how do we strategically place our music in this year when everyone's sitting at home and when listenership is at an all-time high? The overall outlook of the music industry when we come out of this is going to be much a different format than what we see right now. It becomes it becomes a puzzle of how do you do this? How can you accomplish, you know, our new reality? We're still living this. There's there's still so many open questions. I often question myself, like, are are we there yet? And obviously, there, we're not there yet in solutions. We're 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 learning through the process. And there is, as we all know, there is absolute value in nightlife, absolute value to society. So it's about working out how do, you, how do we use the power of what we've all built to apply that to solving problems for the government moving forward. A year into the pandemic, what has happened? What are the transformations around the world to build and rebuild new music scenes and communities? Locally, globally, together. Join us for Amplify Music 2021, virtually together. <laughs>